Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife and Resources Agency. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. As I continue to mention that uh, you don't want to miss next week's show. Not that this week's show is any, uh, anything not to want to listen to, but uh, next week's show will be our 19th anniversary show. Uh, looking forward to that. Away? What'd you say, Dave Gabbard? Are you going to give anything away? Yeah, a trip to uh, Lexington with uh, with Gene Smith. Uh, Dan Fowler. Yeah, two hours at, at Dave Gabbard's uh, front porch. Okay, so um, no, I'm not giving anything away as of right now. That's still in the works. That's a surprise. Uh, maybe we can give away a diamond. That'd be pretty good to give away on 19. Yeah, uh, yeah. and this the man well, coming up give, right now just, is is a just give away a bunch of coal and hopefully have enough pressure they make their own. Make their own. Okay, well. This guy coming on right now has uh, been a part of uh, seeing a lot of diamonds in his career, that's for sure. And we're really happy to have on with us this morning on Outdoors with Larry Ray, Wayman Cox. He is a park interpreter, too, at the Crater of Diamonds State Park in Murfreesboro, Arkansas, where two large diamonds have been found recently, including the 12th largest since 1972, dubbed the serendipity diamond and so wayman good morning <laughs> good morning larry thanks for being with us uh one of my favorite places uh is is the crater of uh, diamond state park it's part of the 52 state parks in my home state of arkansas and i know that during your time uh finding diamonds is what it's all about and some people might say well what's the deal on this thing so Talk a little bit about the state park, and then let's, then let's, let's talk a little bit about uh, what's happened recently. All right, sure. Um, of course, Crater Diamonds is one of the uh, most unique and well-known of Arkansas's 52 state parks. Uh, it's the only place, as far as we know, in the uh, U.S. and maybe the entire world where people can come and search for real diamonds uh, in their actual volcanic source you know they they erupted to the surface inside of a volcano so it's a it's a literal crater uh of diamonds and so uh every year you know eighty thousand people or more people come from all over the world here to search for diamonds and uh as of today uh 192 diamonds have been registered this year uh, right, 192 diamonds, and and you know that is more than uh, 37, nearly 38 carats worth of diamonds uh, that we've registered at the park this year alone, even even with uh, the pandemic and everything going. That's what I was going to ask you about because the pandemic. Uh, this is an outdoor event, right? So you guys, it is. you guys have stayed open. You're allowing social distancing. So uh, talk about the experience and. Uh, uh, once you come into the park, what's it like? I mean, uh, well, uh, first step is is getting into the park. Of course, right now our admission is limited, uh, so you know if you want to come out to the park, be sure you can you can buy tickets on our website, uh, creatorofdiamondstatepark.com. dot com. But you know, once you get here, um, it's a lot. Most people don't really know what to expect. You know, no. Most people have never been diamond mining before. Um, but it's a large plowed field uh, is what it is, and and uh, you're welcome to bring your own tools. Uh, we we don't <laughs> rent currently, uh, again, due to the uh, COVID-19 yes. uh, pandemic, but you are welcome to bring your own equipment. A lot of people bring screens, uh, buckets, and shovels. Uh, there are <laughs> some businesses in Murfreesboro in the area that do sell screens, and, of course, you can go you know get buckets and shovels, or you can even go down to the dollar store and get a colander, you know, any, anything and, and everything we see come in here for people, you know, ideas of you know what they want to use to look for diamonds. And how uh, big? How big an area is it? The search area at the park is 37 and a half acres, um, and, and again, it's a large plowed field. You know, there's there's not a lot of cover in it, uh, so this time of year especially, uh, you know, it's a good idea to bring a, a form of shade, uh, yeah. either wearing a hat or bringing a tent or a canopy or umbrella, something like that, just to keep out of the sun. You know, sun sunscreen's a good idea, too. Uh, another thing you need, of course, is lots of water. Uh, we highly highly recommend drinking water yeah uh, 
throughout the day because it's easy to get out there and kind of get distracted looking for diamonds and, and end up <laughs> overheating if you're not careful. And the field is plowed. Is it plowed up occasionally? or uh... they Right. They try to plow it about once a month, uh, starting okay. in the spring, going through fall until it you know really gets too cold, to, uh, you know, too cold and damp to to do a whole lot with the dirt, but they they try to keep it plowed up, and and then when it rains, the rain helps to wash down the yes, it loose does. soil, right. yeah, you know, to, to uncover diamonds and and you know hopefully help people find something. Listen to this, folks. Uh, in total, more than seventy five thousand diamonds have been unearthed at the Crater of Diamonds since the first diamonds were discovered in nineteen o five by John Huddleston, a farmer who owned the land long before it became a state park in 1972. And uh, you get people from all over the world come to Murfreesboro, which is a town of, I don't know how many, thousand, ten thousand? I don't know how many. Uh, not even, yeah. yeah we, not even that. A few thousand people, yeah. A so few a thousand town. people. And they show uh, up, I'm sure, uh, with the most unusual, uh, some of them show up with nothing. I mean, you know, right, uh, this, right. it's it's. The experience and how long are they allowed to, to stay out there? I mean, <laughs> well, the search area. I mean, it's it's a daily admission, but the search area opens at eight o'clock and closes at four o'clock every day. Okay, uh, so, so you got... you can stay out there the whole day, or you can come and leave, and then come back in the afternoons after lunch, something like that. Well, now these two recent diamonds. Let, let's talk about those because uh, the serendipity, uh, Doctor Mindy, a palm tree of Benton was in right. the park in June. And she came up with a diamond that weighed 6.39 carats. Is it about the size of a pumpkin seed? And uh, that kind of got things going. Uh, she put it in her pocket and was afraid she might have lost it, uh, the way it goes here. So uh, the serendipity. So you give them chances to, to name their own diamond. I mean, uh so, right, sure do. Yeah, they name it all. You know, you never know what somebody's going to name their diamond. They name them after all kinds of things. <laughs> yeah, and, and the next one comes back on July 9th. We get one, a uh, man from Alabama, 2.73 carat. Uh, he comes up with a diamond that he names the Dempsey Ducharme the the Diamond. Uh -huh. and, and that's from the family's experience there. So they come in all colors. They come in all different things. Uh I see. I see here where the the Uncle Sam. Talk about that one. That was. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was that was before we were a state park, but but uh, it's the largest diamond that's that's been found uh, in the United States. It was unearthed here in 1924. So during one of the early mining operations, uh, commercial <laughs> mines, uh, it was actually named after the the guy that first saw it. Uh, his nickname was Uncle Sam. So it wasn't a, wasn't a patriotic reference, but it was just his nickname. You know? Forty point two three carats. He ended up right. selling it. Uh... Purchased by a private collector for $150,000. Uh, I'm just uh, having grown up in Arkansas, having been there to your place when I was a kid and when I was a teenager, and to think how many shovels of dirt have been turned over uh, at, at that place, uh, it's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, oh, absolutely. And, and, and still, ha still getting diamonds. <laughs> still getting big diamonds. Now, now Wayman, you've been there how long? How long is it? I, I've been here full time since uh, 2008, so uh, right about 12 years plus. I worked here a couple of summers before that. Uh, so Does it really? I've been here quite a while. Yeah. So, do you when you come to work, do you say, "Is this the day?" I mean, you. I mean, you know, because everybody thinks they're going to get one every day, right? I oh, mean, sure, sure, and you know. Uh, uh, of course, we have had, you know, uh, we have one or two every day uh, found at the park, and mo most of them are pretty small, but, uh, I mean, sometimes it's almost like you can feel one coming, you know, whenever, <laughs> certain times of year, and, and you tend to have more large diamonds found, it seems like, and, and it's just almost, you can, you know, almost tell when one's fixing to show up. Yeah. So you need to get right now, people, you got to go online. Go online uh, to CraterOfDiamondStatePark.com. Uh, you can purchase tickets. There's uh, 800 tickets per day. That's all they're right. all they're going to allow in there. And and I'm a, I'm assuming any time a diamond's found, it spikes your interest. But at the same time, during the pandemic, I'm assuming this has been a great place to go. Have you, is uh, business it, it up? Is, is business the social distance? Yeah. Is business up during this? I mean, have you been able to? 
have pretty good crowds? Well, you know, this time of year, um, we generally have 500 to 800 a day during the during wow. the week. It's okay. been down a little bit, of course, okay. due to the you know coronavirus. But uh, you know, we have we have you know seen a, a bump in business, especially on the weekends. You on know, the weekends, yeah, um, right. So you know, people, if we don't sell out on our online tickets, people can still come into the park and and buy tickets at our visitor center. Okay. Um, you know, the tickets uh, are on sale up to I think 24 hours before the actual day uh so what does it cost what does it cost to get in there it is ten dollars for ages 13 and up and then six dollars for ages uh six through 12 and then the uh youngins five and under are free and that and uh five and under okay dave gabbard you and your you and your wife need to get in that rv head over to murfreesboro and and here's your chance to get your wife a diamond okay dave here uh why don't i just Buy you the shovel. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, and I'll split, you know, what you <laughs> He'll split it with me. Uh, yeah. uh, I don't know, Wayman. You, you, you know, yeah. Wait till the end of August. Okay. I won't, I won't <laughs> end of August. When it's really, really hot. Is there a big one left out there, Wayman? Is it still out there? Is an Uncle Sam still could be found? Yeah, I I wouldn't be surprised. You know, there. I mean, Uncle Sam was so large, and then of course the next, the biggest one we've had found since 1972 is 16 carats. Wow. So, you know, okay. there's got to be other diamonds out there between 16 to 40 carats. And they may just uh, be laying on top of the ground. I mean, you, you just, never know. You, you After never that next big rain. Yeah, and somebody. Larry, my friend Terry said the best time to go is after a rain. After a rain? Well, I'm yeah, sitting after a good rain. After a rain that, that rain that kind of washes things around. Wayman, thank you, Wayman, for uh, Wayman Cox, a park uh, interpreter. Crater of Diamonds State Park in uh, Murfreesboro. Uh, look it up online on the state parks of Arkansas. they got 52 of them. This is one of the, this is the most, one of the most unique state parks in the United States. Wayman, thank you, buddy. And, uh, thank you. Let's have a great day. Stay in touch, okay? Thank you. Will do. All Thanks. right. Wayman Bye-bye. Cox. All right. I had to throw that in there. Is that is that not interesting? I mean, it was to me. Yes. I mean. I just uh, want to say my friend worked over there. She said the best way to do it is go after a rain because they'll be standing on top of the ground. They'll wash the dirt around it. Yeah. Well, I mean, they have sifting uh, like the old. Uh, this is not like some place where you're going through a mountain stream or anything. There's people right. out there just digging. There's some dirty folks out there when they get through. <laughs> you know. Yeah. When it. Uh, when it comes down to it. Okay, Gene. Uh, Dave, can he do another one? I'll go right ahead. He's a, he's a diamond in the rough. Diamond in the rough. <laughs> All right, All right, Gene. How about it? Okay, this guy was on the road down in Louisiana, and his car <laughs> broke down. It's raining, pouring down rain. <laughs> and he's walking down the road, and here comes his car going real slow. So he jumps in it. He figured they're going to pick him up. When he got in the car, there's nobody driving. He uh. said, oh, my gosh. He said, is that a ghost or something? And it kept on going. When he got to this curb, he said, oh, my God, we're going to run off the curb. Well, a hand reached in through the side and turned the wheel. And he said, oh, my God, what was that? So he kept on going. Another curb, same thing. A hand reached in there and turned the wheel. So when he got to the restaurant, he jumped out of the car and ran inside and told everybody about this ghost that picked him up. And while he telling the story, these two guys, Boudreaux and them, come in and said, there's that guy that jumped in our car when we ran out of gas. We pushing it down the hill. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh me! I'm sorry, Dave. I know you want to say yeah. something really deep and thorough, but uh, <laughs> we, it's just I'm in awe. You're in awe. Okay, I'm well in we're awe. we're in awe here. Let's take a break. Come back yeah, and I need, uh, I need yeah, we're gonna come back and give uh, Dave time to talk uh, in between Johnny Mac Farland on Outdoors. Alright, we'll be right back. <laughs> 